Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at how to analyze and simulate a defibrillator circuit. The defibrillator is an important biomedical application of resistor capacitor inductor or RLC electronic circuits. A defibrillator is a device that applies an electric shock or electric pulse to the heart to restore a normal heartbeat. The device was first in invented back in the 1950s. In order to deliver the electric shock, sticky pads with sensors called electrodes are attached to the chest of the patient. Typically, the energy delivered to the heart is in the range 200 to 360 joules. The defibrillator is a life-saving device for someone in cardiac arrest. When applied, it gives you up to a 70% chance of reviving the person. A typical defibrillator circuit is shown here. It includes a power supply, a capacitor, and an inductor. The patient is modeled as a resistor. The power supply can be the main supply or a battery. In case of mains power supply, the mains voltage is converted to a high voltage of around 5000 volts using a step-up transformer. A rectifier then converts the high voltage AC to high voltage DC. In this figure, a battery is shown for the power source. When the switch is in position A, the capacitor charges to the voltage V0. When the capacitor is fully charged, the energy stored in the capacitor is given by this well-known formula. When the switch moves to position B, the capacitor discharges in this RLC circuit. The inductor plays a key role here. The basic property of an inductor is that it does not allow instantaneous change in current. Thus the inductor regulates the rate of discharge of the capacitor and it allows the capacitor discharge current to flow for the optimum duration. Thus, electrical energy is delivered in a controlled and safe manner to the patient's heart. Modern defibrillators are calibrated not in terms of energy stored in the capacitor, but in terms of energy delivered to the heart. Typically, the energy delivered is in the range 200 to 360 joules for an adult and 50 to 100 joules for a child. Ideally, the duration over which the energy is delivered is a few milliseconds. For proper delivery of monophasic shock, the discharge current should not have a large negative peak and should die down to zero quickly. Let us see how a defibrillator circuit can be theoretically analyzed. Typical component values are shown here. The capacitor value is 30 microfarad. The inductor is 50 millihenry. The patient is represented using a 50 ohm resistor. The capacitor is assumed to be charged to 5000 volts. That is, it is holding 375 joules stored energy. This second order RLC circuit is best analyzed using Laplace transform circuit analysis. We transform the circuit to the S domain the resistor becomes an impedance R ohm in the S domain. 
the inductor becomes an impedance SL ohm in the S domain. The capacitor becomes an impedance 1 over SC ohm in the S domain. The initial voltage on the capacitor is modeled as a DC voltage source V0 over S in the S domain. We can use Kirchhoff voltage law in the S domain to show that the circuit equation is as follows. Once we write the circuit equation in the S domain, the main job of an electrical engineer is done. We can use Mathematica to efficiently solve this circuit. We use the solve command to do the algebraic manipulation and obtain an expression for the current in the S domain. We multiply the current by the resistance R to get the output voltage across the patient's heart. Finally, we use the inverse Laplace transform command to get the time domain output voltage in closed form. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this in more detail. We can simulate the defibrillator circuit in LT Spice as shown here. We use a voltage control switch to perform the switching. The switch model is defined here. The switch is closed at 1 microsecond. Switches in LT Spice are discussed in detail in one of the previous videos in this channel. The link to that video is provided at the end of this video. We label this node and then use the IC SPICE directive to define the initial voltage across the capacitor. We are running a transient simulation. We can run this simulation and look at the output voltage. We can click here to enable the cursor and then we can move the cursor to see that the peak value of the output voltage is around 3000 volts. The output voltage lasts a few milliseconds and then quickly dies to zero. This is the same circuit in PSPICE. We can double click the capacitor and define the initial condition. We can simulate this circuit and enable the cursor and we can see that we obtain the same waveform as before uh, with a peak of around 3000 volts. Next, we look at how to simulate the circuit in PySpice. We define the switch model and the pulse voltage source controlling the switch. We set the switch to close at 1 microseconds as before. Using descriptive node labeling, we can translate the circuit into a netlist as shown here. We define the initial voltage across the capacitor as shown here. We can harness the programming power of Python and also plot the theoretical closed form expression for the output voltage as shown here. Please pause the video now if you wish to study this netlist in more detail. This is the complete Python code to simulate the defibrillator circuit. The code is available in the comments section below. We have the standard SPICE declarations at the top, followed by the circuit netlist, which we previously discussed, the theoretical calculations, and finally the plotting commands. When we run this code, we can see both the switch activation as well as the output voltage results. 
we can see that the simulation and theory curves actually overlap and match perfectly. And we have the same output waveform as before. In this video, we have discussed how to analyze a defibrillator circuit using Laplace transform circuit analysis technique and obtained a closed form result. We have also discussed how to simulate the circuit in three popular circuit simulators. I hope the video is helpful to your learning. Thank you for watching the video.